All right, everybody, welcome to class. I'm excited to be teaching this uh, this lesson again because earlier today we had a storm come through here in Costa Rica and my lights went out, okay? And I lost my internet and I could not teach and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I had no power in the house, all right? So I do apologize. We got through about half of the lesson and then pff, it was done. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy to get uh, back at it tonight. Um, so we are going to be working on functional English. It's one of my favorite things to do with uh, beginning students. Okay, we're going to take a look at situations, practice, uh, practice certain phrases, okay, uh, certain words, okay, slang words, things like that that we may, that we may hear or that we can say in these type of situations. The uh, two topics that we are going to be going over this hour, okay, well, the first one is going to be where's the washroom, all right? The next one, if we have time, would we'll, will be saying thank you. If we can't get to saying thank you, then um, then we'll, uh, I'll probably uh, do that tomorrow or maybe on Monday, all right? But we'll, we'll see how, uh, we'll see how uh, time goes, okay? So, yes. This is going to be functional in English. This is for beginners. So if you are an intermediate or an advanced student and you are uh, expecting to go over extremely difficult words, um, things like that, you know, crazy conjugations, stuff like that, we're not going to be doing that. We're, we're, uh, we're uh, doing basic, okay, basic phrases to get people through a situation, all right? Um, Nice dog. I'm not sure what nice dog would would uh, would mean. I'd have to hear it. Uh, uh, I'd have to hear it in a in a in a sentence to kind of see see what meaning. Now, I'm not I'm not sure of any any slang. You know, if someone says uh, nice dog, you know, I'm not I'm not uh, unless they say yeah, nice dog. But they're not. Uh, they're uh, they're referring to you as as dog. Okay, that would mean they're referring to you more as like being a a person, or in other words, like saying dude. Okay, so dog, and and uh, dog is more more often spelled like that. Okay, if they say nice dog. Okay, uh, I'm sure my my uh, gringo, <laughs> my my totally white gringo accent doesn't doesn't uh, uh, do it justice, but that's uh, that may be what they're what they're referring to. Um, you know, other other than that, I I don't know. I couldn't uh, I couldn't tell you. So let's uh, let's see who we have here first. And okay, so um, Leung. Uh, I, I need to have you mute your microphone. You've got a lot of noise coming through. Okay, so keep your keep your. Uh... Leon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, yeah. hi. So you have you have a lot of noise. You have a lot of noise that's going around, and it's coming right into your microphone. Okay, and we can we can all hear that. So let me have you keep your microphone muted. Okay, yeah. until it is your turn. All right. All right. Thank you, man. You're awesome. Very good. All right. Let's uh, let's go and we'll talk to uh, Amrit. How are you? Amrit, can you hear me okay? Amrit? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, uh, yeah, the connection is uh, still a little bogus, man. All right. Uh, yeah. Keep uh, uh, keep working on it. I'll I'll come back to you. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Anzi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, let's see. Was it yesterday? Yesterday yes. was your birthday, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. It was okay. Yesterday. And how how was your birthday party? Did you have fun? Yes. It was good. <laughs> Good, good. And mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, what did you do? You you had your party. You said you went shopping. Oh, I decided to save money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So you saved some money. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Well, welcome, uh, welcome uh, back to class, and mm -hmm. uh, happy birthday again. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Arthur. How you doing, Arthur? Hello. I'm. Uh, I'm fine. How are you? 
I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, it looks like you're in a you're in a different room again. No, <laughs> it's same uh, same room. <laughs> yeah, it's just my camera is move around. <laughs> All right. All right. How how are you doing today? Oh, I'm great. Uh, I did my interview and I think I passed it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good for you. That's great. Yeah. When will you uh, find out for sure? Uh, just uh, I passed that interview, but there the interview was separated with two parts, and tomorrow I will uh, do the second part. Excellent. Well, yeah, totally. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Very good. Awesome. All right, and we also have uh, Li Yung. How are you? Dad, hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Great. And Li Yung, where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. From Vietnam. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, am, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Is it uh, Li, Li Yung? Yeah, Li Yung. Okay. Very good. And uh, Li Yung, what, uh, what do you do? Uh, I am a student. I, I'm learning in medical school. Okay, excellent. Well, it's uh, it's good to have you here. Yes, thank you. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Yolanda. Welcome back, Yolanda. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> and and uh, what uh, what time is it there in Colombia right now? It's. Uh, is it about mid midnight? Past 11 p.m. Okay, so so you're you're only an hour ahead. Almost of midnight. Yeah. All right. Well, but welcome. But no mind for me. For me, it's important my class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome back to class. It's good to have you here. All right. Let's see. Let's Thank go, you, teacher. Let's go to uh, Jose. How are you, Jose? Jose, how are you doing? Uh, make sure your uh, your microphone is turned on. Nope, still can't hear you. Nope, uh, keep keep working on it. We we can't hear you. Um, so uh, let me uh, let me show you guys. All right. So if you come in. Okay, if you uh, if you come into class ever and uh, and you see that uh, that your microphone is not working, there's two things that you can do. Okay, uh, you want to uh, make sure that this button right here is not red. Okay, if it is, that means you are muted. Okay, um, and then if uh, if that is not red, uh, take a look at your settings to make sure you are using the uh, the correct microphone and speakers. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, how you doing, Jose? Hello, hello, hello. Hi there. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. And you? How I'm are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, now, uh, Jose, where are you from? I am from Colombia, Medellin. From, Colum from Medellin. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Awesome. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. And uh, and uh, Jose, what do you do? Um, in this moment, I. I study. I, I study. Okay. Did you, I, All right. I so, you. so when uh, when I ask what what do you do, I'm asking about uh, e either your profession uh, or what you study. Now, are you a student or do you work full time? Ah, oh, both. I am both. I I act to my both activities. I am a study uh, electronic. Okay. Uh, okay. I work. I work in. Uh, I don't know. You know. I don't know como, how to say that. Maintenance. Maintenance. So ma maintenance. That's maintenance. Of machine. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Okay. Um, uh, now, Jose, what I need for you to do is to uh, put your um, uh, microphone on mute because uh, what's coming out of your speakers is being picked up by your microphone and it's coming right back. Okay. All right. So just until it's your turn, then you can turn your microphone back on, okay?
All right, man. Thank you. All right. So for uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, uh, my name is uh, Teacher Chad. I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Um, I do know uh, the two languages, uh, English and Spanish. Right? I learned Spanish in Argentina. I was living in uh, Buenos Aires for a time. And uh, um, I've been here with Verbling now for about, let's see, about a month and a half, something like that. All right. So, uh, Jose, uh, make sure you keep your, your microphone muted. Okay, man? All right. There we go. Okay. All right, so um, uh, this this hour we are going to be talking about uh, a, a couple different uh, um, topics. The first one is going to be where's the washroom. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and open up this document. All right, and uh, I put the link in the chat box. Go ahead and, uh, and grab that. If you are in the uh, Google chat, uh, I put the uh, the link there as well. Now, Amr, did you get your uh, your um, your microphone working? Amr, did you get your microphone working, sir? Okay. All right. Uh, doesn't doesn't look like it. All right. So um, let's go ahead and and get started. So when you open up the uh, the link, okay, I put that in the chat box. Go ahead and open that. Uh, this is what you are going to see. Okay. This is what it. Uh, this is what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so yes, we are going to be talking about where is the washroom. We'll we'll talk about uh, different words, okay, that we use to uh, to uh, call the washroom. All right, and uh, and different phrases that we can use. All right, so uh, let's start off with uh, with uh, Anzi. All right, and uh, Anzi, uh, I'll have you read and be person A. Okay, so everywhere, it doesn't matter if it's A2, A3, A4, or A5, I'll have you read uh, person A. And uh, I'd like for uh, Jose, I'd like for you to read where it says person B, or B1, B2, B3, and B4, and 5. Go ahead and, and uh, start that off, Anzi. Can you tell me where the washroom, the washroom, the washroom is? All right, Jose, go ahead and read where it says uh, B, please. Make sure to uh, unmute your microphone to uh, talk. Okay, uh, right here, um, Jose, make sure to unmute your microphone. Okay. Yeah, you need to you need to touch your the uh, the red microphone up at the top. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, Leon right now. Um, Leon, let me have you read person B, please. Yeah. Okay. It's so. Up there. Uh huh. Do you know where the toilet is? It's downstairs. Where is the ladies' room? On the right. Where is the men's room? No, I'm not I'm sure, sorry. There. Is there a restroom nearby? No, it's uh, at the other side of the mall. At the mall. All right, of the mall. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about these uh, these different phrases, okay? Uh, first off, uh, we have the phrase washroom. Washroom is talking about the toilet. As you can see right here. That is the washroom. But washroom. in in the United States, in the United States, we do not say washroom. Okay? We say bathroom. Okay, I'll type that here. Bathroom. We also say restroom. 
Okay, restroom. We say restroom. we say ladies' room, and that's for women. Okay, a woman would say, "Where is the ladies' room?" Okay, and uh, men would say, "Where is the men's room?" Okay, so in the United States, those four ways is how we would say say the bathroom, okay, or the washroom properly. Okay, in Britain. If you see here, in uh, Britain or in English or in England, sorry, um, they uh, they may say the toilet. Okay, so the toilet like this. All right. Uh, they may also say the water closet. So in uh, in England, in England they say uh, um, the toilet. Okay. Toilet. Toilet. Or, or they say, okay, the water closet. The water closet. Wow. Okay. The uh, water closet. Yeah, but uh, we do not say those two in uh, in the United States. Yes, they call that the WC, okay, Top or the use. water closet. All right. So, water closet. Oh, okay. Now, um, uh, some slang words. Some words that we use that uh, that are slang. Okay, um, we would also say, okay, a a man would say, I need to go use the head. Okay, the head. All right, that would be a toilet as well. You may hear that in movies, on TV shows. Okay, if you say I, if they say I need to go use the the head, they are going to the bathroom. Okay. You may also hear uh, the facilities. The facilities. All right. If uh, and, it, and it would be the same. I need to go use the facilities. Okay. Um, uh, uh, also, now you can say uh, "call of nature," answer the call of nature, um, but. Um, in, in most cases, it, it would not be uh, it would not be proper to say something like "I need to go urinate," okay, or defecate, okay. Um, it wouldn't be proper to say uh, "I need to go do those things." We say, okay, "I need to go to the bathroom." That's uh, probably the most popular way to say it. All right, it it would be improper to say, "Hey, uh, I need to go urinate." Okay, it's a, it's a little improper. So we, all we say is, uh, I I need I need to use the uh, the restroom restroom or the bathroom. Okay, restroom and bathroom are are the same. Okay, that's what we would say. Restroom. Uh, we, we have we have bathroom uh, bathroom. Uh, in in uh, it really means a place uh, where you can shower, shower or bathe. Okay, uh, those would those would be the uh, literal meaning. So a bathroom, a place where you where you shower. Okay, you wash your hair, things like that. But bathe as well. Okay, but in most bathrooms they have a toilet, and so that's why we say I need to go use the bathroom. All right, because there's a toilet in there as well. Okay, so uh, we're, we've uh, we've taken a look a little bit at these at these phrases. All right, um, uh, two really good phrases here. Do you know where? Do you know where? Okay, that's a that's a, a great way to ask. Do you know where the restroom is? Do you know where the the men's room is? Okay, can you tell me where? Okay, can you tell me where? Uh, you can also just say, where is? Where is the restroom? Where is the ladies' room? Okay. Where is the ladies' room? Is and the, you can also the say, uh, is there a, okay, is there a men's room nearby? Is there a restroom nearby? Okay, this is a, a, a good way to ask as well. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and go to... Okay, other informal phrases you may hear. And and let's see, let's go to uh, Jesus. How you doing, Jesus?
Hi, teacher. Hi there. How are you? Um, hey, Suze. Uh, let me have you read number three. Okay, informal phrases you may hear. Go ahead and read these four phrases down below. The four phrases. Uh huh. Yes. Go ahead and read those, please. Okay. I gotta go pee. I gotta go. I need to use the little lady's room. Where's the loo? Excellent. Okay. Now the loo. Okay, the loo is uh, more for British English. Okay. If you were in the United States, and uh, and you said. I need to go to the loo, or I need to use the loo, or where is the loo? You may get a look that looks a little like this. <laughs> they don't know what the loo is. All right, we don't use that word. We don't use that word in the United States. It is a word that's used in England. Okay, the loo. Okay, that's the bathroom. Okay. Um, so just be careful. Now, if you're in England and you use the loo. Yeah, you're probably just fine. Uh, I'm sure if you say uh, restroom as well or the water closet, okay, uh, you'd be just fine. All right. Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, I need to use the little ladies' room. Okay. Now, uh, women, um, women would definitely definitely say that. I need to use the ladies, the little ladies' room. Okay. Men do not say I need to use the little boys' room. We do not say that, guys. Okay, guys, do not say I need to use the little boys' room. Okay, mm -mm, we do not say that. Ladies can say the little ladies' room. We do not say little boys. Okay, um, I've uh, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta go is a popular way to say I gotta I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, but we just shorten it. Now, if you say if you say Hey, dude, I gotta go. Do you know where the restroom's at? Okay, if you just say that, okay, they know that you have to go to the bathroom because that is a, a typical phrase. I gotta go. Okay, all right. So, uh, what does the word P mean? Um, I'm not sure where it comes from, but P, okay, means urinate. Okay, P equals urinate. Urinate. Yeah. Urinate, but. Uh, I don't know why, but we 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 don't say uh, urinate. It's uh, uh, we'd rather say pee instead of uh, urinate. Don't know why. Don't know why. Never uh, never really uh, looked into that. Okay. Uh, any questions from you guys here in in class uh, up till this point? Nope. We get it. Hey. We get it so far. Okay. I I back. Uh, okay. So Jose, you're back. back. Awesome. Yeah. All right, man. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. Okay, we're gonna scroll down. All right, and hmm, let's see. Let's go to yeah. Let's uh, let's practice asking uh, asking about uh, other uh, other places. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, we have we have these uh, important phrases that we can uh, we can use. Can you tell me where? Do you know where? Okay. Um, and and then let's practice filling in the blanks here. Okay. Um, so uh, let's start off with uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, Juan Carlos. How are you? Juan Carlos, is your uh, microphone on? Hello. All right. Hi there. How are you? Fine, thanks. Great, great. All right. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna practice using uh, using these phrases here. Okay. Can you tell me where uh, where? And uh, you can choose uh, any of these up here. All right. And uh, we'll go through uh, we'll go through uh, uh, all of these with everybody in class. Okay. Um, so you can choose anything up here. The bank. The telephone. The restaurant, restaurant, the beach, the restaurant. okay, or the uh, the shopping mall, okay. The shopping mall. And uh, we're gonna fill in uh, uh, the information here on this section. Don't worry about B, okay. Don't worry about filling in here. We're only going to be reading person A, okay. So uh, Juan Carlos, let me have you read. 
um, uh, numbers one through five, and I'd like for you to uh, fill in these blanks that are that are right here. Okay. <laughs> he he don't understand. <laughs> Ostro. Oi. Okay, uh, uh, Juan Carlos. Sir. Yes. Uh, do you do you understand what uh, what I am asking? Sorry, I don't know. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos, where are you from? Medellin, Colombia. You're from uh, Medellin as well. Okay, uh, Juan Carlos, lo que vamos a hacer ahorita en ese momento es uh, llenar la información o estos espacios aquí que se ve eh, en, en la pantalla con la información que está aquí eh, escrito en negro. Ok. okay. Um, vamos a practicar usar estas frases que se, que se encuentran aquí en 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 o 4 o 5. Solamente vamos a, 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 a usar estas oraciones siguiendo la A. Ok. No vamos a usar estas frases siguiendo la D. Solamente la A. Ok. okay. Entonces, quiero que lea estas oraciones y que meta la información uh, en, en el espacio. Ok. Okay, can you tell me where the where the bank the bank is? Yeah, where the bank is. Can you tell me where the bank is? Okay. All right. Uh, how about uh, number two, Juan Carlos? Uh, do you know where the telephone is? Good. Do you know where the telephone is? So we can say, can you tell me, or do you know where? Okay, either way. All right. How about number three, Juan Carlos? Um, what can we put right here? What do you think? Where? Yeah. Uh, where, where? Yes, we can say where. Where is the telephone booth? Uh, please, uh, please read that. Where is the telephone bot? Okay, good. All right, how about number four, please? Where is the where telephone is the, bot? The telephone bot. Okay, you can say, you can say, you can say. All right, you can say telephone booth, or you can try one of these other words that are here. Okay, you can say restaurant, the beach, or anything. Where is the beach? Okay. All right. And you want to say the. Where is the beach? Where the is the beach. beach? Good. All right. How about number five, please? Uh, can you tell me what is a bank? What is Nerby? Okay. Oh, um, is, is there? Is there, yes. Is there a bank nearby? Okay. Is there. is there a bank nearby? Okay. So let me uh, let me write that here in the uh, in the chat box. Is there? Okay. Is there a bank nearby? Is there? All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Let's uh, let's uh, move on. And uh, what I need is for those who have microphones that are on, let me please have you mute them, because there is a lot of noise coming through. Okay. So please uh, please mute there, mute the uh, microphones. Okay. What? Okay. Que que pongan sus uh, sus micrófonos en silencio, por favor. Okay. Hay mucho ruido. Aquí en la clase. Gracias. All right. Thank you, you guys. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's go to uh, our next uh, our next exercises. Orlando, how are you? How are you? Good. Uh, can I have you mute your microphone, please? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. All right, uh, Leon, you're up next. Okay. Uh, we are going to be uh, answering. Okay, answering or using the questions down below. All right, and we'll do, uh, we'll probably do two of them each. So, uh, Leon, 
Let me have you do numbers numbers one and number number two, please. How okay. can we answer? How can we answer these two questions? Oh, uh, I think uh, we can have uh, we can answer each on uh, up there or last there. Good. Or... Yes. So we can say where is the restroom, and what mm -hmm. would you say if I asked you where is the restroom, Leong? Oh, uh, it's. It's uh, on upstairs. Okay, it's upstairs. It's upstairs. Okay. Good. Okay. How about uh, is there a washroom nearby? Uh, there. There. Okay. There a washroom near. All right. So uh, we would if I if I ask a question with is there, you would need to answer with a yes or a no mm, first. No. Yes. So uh, yes, there is. It is around the corner. Or no, there isn't. Uh, there, there isn't a washroom in this building. Then you can answer. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can also say that. You can say I, I, I don't, don't know. know. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. That's a that's a, a a great way to say that as well. Juan nearby would mean that it is close. Yeah. Or night Okay, uh, nearby is close. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, let's go to uh, Orlando. Orlando, numbers three and four, please. Como? Numbers three and four. No, pero es que no entienden mucho lo que dicen. Okay, well, you need to practice your English. Okay. Okay, here we're talking about uh, answering, answering these questions. Leo, lo que dice ahí. Okay, so we need to answer the question. Okay, so do you know where the okay. ladies' room is? How could we answer that question? What do you think, Orlando? Eh, no veo bien, que se ve muy borroso. Okay. Uh, do, did you uh, did you, you open up the link? Uh, do you know where the lady room is? Okay, excellent. Now, how could we answer that question? No veo, se muy borroso. Okay. All right. So, uh, Orlando, uh, aquí al lado hay un link que se puede abrir. Uh, a veces aquí sí la pantalla va, se va a ver un poco borroso, uh, pero es por eso que tenemos los links que se encuentran en, la, en las materiales de la clase. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, hay que abrirlo. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, también se puede encontrar el link en, uh, en el Verbling Chat. Okay. Okay, okay. Bueno, lo que estamos haciendo aquí es, es que estamos contestando las preguntas. Eh, ahí creo que dice. Okay, but we need sabe, to. Sabe dónde... ¿Ah? Yes, we need to answer the questions. So if I were to uh, find you in the in uh, in uh, the mall or wherever, and I would ask you, do you know where the ladies' room is? How could you answer that? ¿Cómo, cómo se puede uh, cómo podría contestar ese este pregunta? Do you know where the ladies' room is? What words could you use in English? Okay. If you don't know, you can say, I don't know. Or you can say, no, I don't know where the room is, the ladies' room is. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's oh, let's try this out. Does uh, does any uh, does anybody else want to uh, try numbers three and four? How could we answer those questions? Anybody in class want to uh, want to try those? Yes, teacher, I want to. Try. Okay, Yolanda, how could we answer that? So, Yolanda, I I found you in uh, in the store, and uh, and I would say, Yolanda, uh, do you know where the ladies' room is? What could you say? I don't. I don't know. Sure. Sorry. There you go. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure, I'm not sorry. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not and sure. Then, uh, and then it's always good to say, sorry, okay? I apologize. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not okay? sure, sorry. All right, <laughs> how about, uh, how about uh, uh, number four? Is the loo downstairs? Uh, no, is uh, is the loo downstairs? Uh -huh. uh, How can we answer yes, that? yes. Okay. Uh, it's the downstairs. Okay. Yes, it's downstairs. Good. Yes, it's downstairs. That's how we can answer. Downstairs. Downstairs. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Downstairs. Uh, thank you very much. All right, so uh, let's see. These uh, these seem to be uh, just a, a tad difficult for most uh, most here in the in the class. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go to um, exercise exercise seven. Okay, uh, we are we're talking about words that are the opposite. Okay. So which word means the opposite? And uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, Turkan. How are you? Hi. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome to class. Now, uh, Turkan, uh, do you know what the word opposite means? Sorry, my my English very bad. I can't. It's it's okay. So oh, I want uh, just listen. Okay. Okay, that's that's no problem, no problem. All right, let's see. Let's go to uh, Anzi. Uh, Anzi, do you know what uh, the word opposite means? Anzi, are you there? Make sure that your microphone is not muted. Nope, I cannot hear you, Anzi. Me, 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 me. All right, uh, work on work on your microphone there. Let's uh, hold on. Jesus is right before you. So, Jesus, do you know what uh, the word opposite means? Uh, the opposite of far away. Yeah. So if if you it's going to be something that's uh, uh, um, the uh, okay. the uh, the other meaning. Okay. So what would be the opposite of far away? What do you think? Well, the opposite of far away is nearby. Good. Nearby. Nearby. Far away. Nearby. Good. All right. And uh, let's see. Uh, Jose, number two, what would be the opposite of left? Left, left, right. Left, okay, right. good. Good. The okay. opposite would be right. Thank you. Uh, let's okay. go to um, Juan Carlos. What would be the opposite of downstairs? No. Hello, Juan Carlos. Upstairs. Upstairs. Excellent. Thank Upstairs. you. Upstairs. All right. And uh, Leon, uh, what is the opposite of back? Back front. Good. Okay. Yeah. Front is the uh, opposite. Yeah. And let's see. Uh, Orlando, what is the opposite of here? Do. Oh. Okay, the opposite. The opposite of the opposite. here. The opposite. The opposite. Okay, so if the opposite of <coughs> left is right, Bye. okay, what is the opposite of here? Okay, so here is something that's close by. All right, does uh, anybody in class know what the opposite of here would be? You. Yes. All right. Uh, what's the opposite of here, Yolanda? There. The opposite of here is there. There. Okay. Good. Yes, it is there. All right. Excellent job. Okay, you guys. Okay. So, we 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 are gonna we're gonna move on from uh, from this lesson. All right. Remember. Okay. We use can you tell me where. 
do you know where okay and also where no, well, is okay where is, where that's is. Uh, that's how we uh, we ask where where the restroom is okay in the United States we say bathroom we say okay so bathroom we say restroom ladies room and men's room okay oh. in uh, in England okay they Ooh. they say the uh, loo they also Ooh. say the toilet the and they also toilet. say the water closet water right. closet okay WC. they may uh, they may also say uh, the washroom and in the United States you don't hear the washroom very much okay all right so let's uh, let's go to our next lesson and this is going to be saying thank you all right so uh, I'll go ahead and put the link in the chat box here All right, so class. All right, I want you. I want you to go and uh, and open up the link. The main reason is because if you uh, if you are looking at it on the screen, it sometimes can get unclear. So go down here, where it says Chad Hansen or uh, Dr. Lee as well. Put the uh, put the link here. Go ahead and click on this. Okay, if you click on it. It'll open yes. up another link. Say right. thank you. All right, so we're going to we're going to go to that lesson right now, right? Okay. When uh, when you see this, okay, up here at the top. Oops. Here we go. Okay. So we are uh, saying thank you, and uh, let's start off with. Um, I think we ended with. Um, Okay, so let's go to uh, Leung. And uh, now, is your name uh, is your name Shrif uh, Shrinfas? Yes. Shrinfas. Yes, Shrinfas. Shrinfas. Uh, good to meet you. Good to have you here, um, Leung. Uh, let me have you be person A. Yeah. And uh, and Shrinfas, uh, you will be person B. Okay, go ahead and, and read that, please. Yeah. Here's a little tip for the baby. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. It's just a little something. That yeah. was very sweet of you. Thanks again. No problem. I hope it fits, baby. It looks perfect. Okay, thank you. All right, excellent job. Okay, so um, when we when we say thank you, okay, uh, this is this is a a good phrase to learn. You didn't have to do that. Okay, meaning um, meaning also um, that wasn't okay. You can also say that wasn't okay necessary. Okay, that wasn't necessary. This is uh, you. You are basically saying, "Well, thank you very much. Uh, you're you're kind. You didn't need to do that, but I'll take it anyway." All right, and it's a it's a it's a kind gesture. It's called being gracious. Okay, that's what that's what you're you're being. So when you say thank you, you didn't have to do that. Okay, but they but they did anyway. All right, so. Let's uh, let's take a look here. All right, so you didn't have to do that, okay? Also, you can say that was very sweet of you. All right, now guys, you only say that was sweet of you if you are talking to a woman. All right, <laughs> women can say that was very sweet of you if they're talking to each other, but you do not say um, it, that was very. Sweet sweet of you if you are uh, if you are a guy okay, okay. Um, it, it's a, it doesn't come off the right way all right so um, we we don't say that to each other women can say that 
okay? Um, but, and you can say that to a woman, okay? Oh, that was very sweet of you, all right? Uh, if it's a woman, but only if you're talking to a woman, all right? All right, so um, let's see. No problem. Okay, thanks again. Uh, yes, did you have a question? What is gift? Gift for the baby. Gift. Uh, gift. A gift. A gift, gift is a is a present. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And yes, it, it is a it is a present. Okay, it's another word for for saying present. It's a gift. Okay, and, and uh, let's see. Uh, say that again. What does uh, it mean? Fit. And, and oh, I fit. hope it fits the baby. Fit. Where is fit? Okay. Uh, fit would mean if it it. it uh, um, if it, if it uh, if like the shirt is is not too large or too small, okay, it fits the person. Okay, so if I have if I have a uh, if I have a, a shirt that's too big, okay, it is not uh, it, it does not fit me. Too big means too that it doesn't fit you. And it, you're talking about clothes, okay? That's that's what you're talking about. If uh, a pair of pants fits you, okay, it is the right size. All right. Does that does that make sense? Comfortable. Okay. I got it. Okay. All right. If uh, if you were if you were looking for a Spanish uh, translation of it, it would be uh, something like uh, "espero que le quede bien." Okay. So you buy a shirt. Okay. okay. You buy you bought something for you, and you and you want it to fit right. Okay. You don't want it to be it too right. big or too small. If it's too small, it does not fit. Okay, so we use the word fit here, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so um, uh, responses. So uh, here's a little gift for the baby. Thank you. Thank you is a great word, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. You didn't have to do that. And then um, this phrase here, it's just a little something. Okay, it's just a little something, um, uh, meaning that uh, it's uh, it, it's it's something that you purchased, but it but it's small. It's not it's not a brand new house. It's not a brand new car, but I wanted to give you something, um, and uh, it it's really kind of meaning a uh, 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 like a, a a kind gesture or a piece of of oneself to the next person. Okay, it's just a little something. Okay, and that's a very popular phrase to use as well. All right, let's uh, let's see what else we have here. Okay, um, so let's see. Okay, so um, we can we can practice saying these phrases. I want to get to uh, uh, some others. Something I made. It's very sweet. Let's go to. Um, Number four, since we uh, we don't have a whole lot of time yet, okay. Other ways to say thank you, and uh, to we and okay. So Yolanda, let me have you read number four, please. So other ways to say thank you. Let me have you read all of these words, please. Okay, teacher. Um, other ways to say thank you. Thank you for for something. The uh, thanks for how can how can how can I thank you? I appreciate it. That was really nice. I'm so thankful for. You shouldn't have. Good. Now let's uh, let's practice this one one more one more time, Yolanda. The words are I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, one more time. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Good, I good. All right, let's uh, let's go down. Uh, let's go to uh, Anzi. Anzi, did you get your uh, microphone working? Uh, I still I still cannot hear you. All right. Um, so, uh, Dr. Lee, um, 
here, uh, the only thing that they were showing is uh, is uh, different ways to say thank you, and you can add whatever uh, whatever you want here. So if they gave you a uh, a pizza, you can say thank you for the pizza, all right, or thanks for the pizza, all right. So it's whatever the gift was that follows. That's where you put. That's the information that you put in uh, in those dots. Okay. Thanks, All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Jesus. Jesus, let me have you read number five, please. So, um, other ways to say you're welcome. Okay. These four ways down here. Go ahead and read that, please. You're welcome. Okay, teacher. Uh, no problem. And time. I was happy to do it. My pressure. Okay. And that last word is my pleasure. Sure. My, my pleasure. Pleasure. My pleasure. My Good. pleasure. Excellent. My pleasure. Okay. So, uh, something important. Something important to do. Uh, yes. When someone gives you something, you say thank you. All right. We can. We look at our phrases here. Uh, thank you. That was really nice. Okay. And uh, as a response. Okay. One of my favorite ones is no problem. No problem is a very popular way to say you're welcome. All right, um, or no you problem. can say, or you can say it was nothing. It was nothing. Okay, that's also a, another way to say ah, it was nothing. I, I was uh, I was in the neighborhood and I wanted to give you something. All right, um, yeah, you can you can use, and it would be uh, not a problem. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, that's how we would use that. Okay. Um, let's see. Also, I was happy to do it. Okay, that's a good one as well. All right. So you want to make sure that when someone says thank you, you uh, you uh, you respond to that. Okay. Instead of just saying, if someone says thank you, you don't go. <laughs> and, and look look away. You want to say you're welcome. Okay, not a problem. Uh, I was happy to do it. Okay, it was nothing. Things like that. Okay, and that's uh, and that's the way we communicate. Um, I uh, I know that uh, in your own languages as well, you do the same thing. These are just the phrases that we use in English. Okay. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's go down, and we are going to build some sentences. All right, so uh, here, for example, number one says, thank you for the flowers. Flowers. All right, so uh, we're going to practice our, our phrases here, and uh, let's go to uh, Jose. Okay. Okay, so Jose, what would we say for number two? Uh, what is this? What would we uh, say here? What Complete this sentence. Thanks. Thanks for. Thank you for the the. Thank you for the the book. Okay, and, th and that is going to be a card. Thank you for card. the card. Thank you for the card. Okay, that is a card with a D at the end. Card. Card. There you go. Okay, so let's try that one more time. The card. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for the card. Thanks for the card. There you go. Nice job. Very good. Okay. Let's okay. go to uh, Leung. Uh, number three, please. What could we say here? Okay, what is I, it? Go for I, it. I appreciate for. I appreciate. I appreciate the phone. Right. Okay, so I, I appreciate the telephone or the uh, the cell phone. Okay, or you can just say the phone. I appreciate the phone. Okay. I appreciate the phone. Okay. Telephone or cell phone, depending on on what that is. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, Lisette. How are you, Lisette? Great, teacher. Are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, how about number four, Lisette? It was nice on you too for the cookies. Okay, it was nice of you to, uh, let's see, uh, we need a 
verb there. What uh, what can you do for for verb? Okay. Okay. So uh, what we do, what we do, um, it, it's the same for for like flowers. Okay. So if I uh, if I uh, if you uh, did something very nice for me, Lisette, let's say that you uh, you help me uh, decorate my living room. Okay, and uh, and I wanted to thank you, and so I brought you a plate of cookies. I brought or I gave, I gave you, okay, gave you a plate of cookies. You can say, you can say it was nice of you to give me. So we're now in present tense. Give me a uh, a plate of cookies. Or you can say some cookies. Ah, I got it. I got it. Some cookies, and so um, you could say give me or bring. It was nice of you to bring. So to bring as well. Okay, so that would be the verb that we would use uh, to give or to bring. All right. Ah, okay, I got it. Uh, excellent. All right, and uh, one last one, number five. And uh, number five is going to be for, let's see, um, uh, Orlando, would you like to try this? Uh, thank you for your coffee. Okay, thank you for, and we would say the coffee. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you for the thank coffee. Thank you for the coffee. All right, excellent job, Orlando. Nice, nice, nice work. Okay, class. Uh, thank you for for coming to class this hour. It was great seeing a lot of uh, uh, new faces as well as some familiar faces. All right, uh, we learned about uh, asking where the bathroom is or the washroom. We also learned some extra phrases about how to say thank you. All right, thank you for coming to class, yeah. and I hope to see you uh, in a future classroom. All right, take care. Thank we'll you. Thank you for your time. Teacher, God bless you. Take care. Yep, we'll see you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.